everybody, welcome to our 30 minutes together to practice chair yoga. My name is Allison. If I haven't met you, if I have already from our first call, welcome back. I'm excited for you to join me again. Today we are going to flow through our 30 minute practice with a focus on gratitude. So we are flowing into the holiday season, Thanksgiving being one of those major holidays that are coming up. And I think it's really important to focus on gratitude. I know in my family, when we sit around the table, there's always one person that asks, what is everybody grateful for? And we all go around the table and we say one thing we're grateful for. And I've realized when we sit there for about 10 minutes and focus on what we're thankful for, we begin to expand off the original thoughts that we have and cultivate a deeper feeling and a deeper appreciation for all of the things that we're grateful for. We also learn from each other about other things that we could be grateful for. So when we take the time to focus on gratitude, we can expand how grateful we are and we can take time to think about more and more things that we are thankful and blessed for. It just creates this beautiful, abundant effect in our mind that can make us feel a lot better. Gratitude is, um, when we think about gratitude and the things that we're grateful for, um, it's actually been scientifically proven that it releases endorphins in the body, just like you would if you were working out. So when we put yoga and we put gratitude together, we are going to create this beautiful effect for our body and our minds to be able to relax and maybe find a little bit more peace. So super excited. I'm very passionate about gratitude. So let's begin. <laughs> so in your seat, wherever you are, make sure your feet are firmly planted on the floor. You can take off your shoes and allow yourself to be in your socks or be barefoot to maybe feel a little bit more grounded, Whatever, will, whatever's comfortable for you. And I want you to sit heavy into your seat and allow your back to rest against your back rest. Just get nice and comfortable, settle back. Your gaze can go down towards your toes, or you can blink your eyes shut here. Your hands can rest on your legs, nice and soft, or you can bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand to your belly. Whatever one feels the most relaxed and normal for you to be in, hold your hand there. And then we'll just take a moment to come into the space that we are in. Come into our practice to be fully here. Breathing in, inhaling into this moment. Exhale, letting all of our air out, letting go of anything in the past. As you inhale, feel that belly diaphragm and chest expand. Exhale, relax heavy into your seat. Those shoulders can maybe relax a little bit deeper. That chin can maybe go a little bit more towards your throat. Smooth inhales and exhales here. Just notice how good it feels. Be conscious of your breathing. Conscious of that beautiful life force energy that always is flowing through you. Just feel how grateful you are for your body. You know, we can be hard on ourselves and we can be hard and how our body functions or operates and feels. Just take a moment to just appreciate your breath. Be grateful for your being. Be grateful for everything that you are in this moment. Because in this moment, you're either learning from something or you're growing. And whether you feel heavy or sad or down in this moment or happy and excited and relaxed, this is just a moment. So just be here with your feelings, all of them, however you feel. And know that this is just a moment for you to observe, notice, learn, and be. So 
those bad feelings are temporary and they can be released now. Those good feelings and that light can come in and that can expand now. You are in an environment where you can choose to let go of whatever is holding you down. But you're also in an environment to expand of all of the things that you're grateful for and that feel good to you. So let's focus on that good. Let's focus on that light. Let's focus on how grateful we are to focus on that good and focus on that light. How grateful we are to have that control. Take one more nice round of breath here in your seat. As you exhale, those arms can come back down to your knees if they aren't there already. You can go ahead and blink those eyes open. Just going into some nice shoulder rolls. On your inhale, draw your hands up your legs as you bring the shoulders to your ears for a squeeze. Exhale, relax them back down, sliding your hands towards your face. Inhale, scrunch up. Maybe feel some tension that your body is holding. Exhale, release that tension and stress, let it go. Inhale, one more big squeeze up to those ears. Exhale, bring those hands back down. Inhale, arms are gonna come overhead, big salute. Exhale, wing arms reaching out wide. Inhale, salute up nice and tall again. Hands come overhead. Exhale, press away, big wing arms. That chest opens up a little bit more. Inhale, we reach up one last time. Always that's a three. Exhale, arms go out to the side. We're gonna go into some neck stretches here. Go bring your right hand to your left ear and draw that right ear to your right shoulder. You can feel free to rock out that chin, going up and down if that feels good for you, or just hold in stillness. Option to blink those eyes shut. This is your relaxation time. This is your self-care time in the middle of your day. Maybe those eyes can blink shut to bring you out of your work environment for a moment. Inhale, arms come back overhead, head straightens. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Option to rock, option to close those eyes. And just breathe here, allowing that left ear just to naturally sink towards that left shoulder. As you inhale, arms come back up overhead, head straight in. Then we're gonna forward fold. So your hands are gonna go to either side of your legs and you can draw your forehead into your knees. I'm just gonna hold here. That chin should be nice and tucked in towards your throat. Just allow your hands to fall like a rag doll arms and be heavy. Breathing here, letting go, surrendering to your practice. where you can feel that sense of just letting go. All that stress can just go down towards the floor. The more we let go of, the more space we can create to let more gratitude and light on in. So continue breathing, continue letting go with every exhale. As you inhale, slowly roll yourself back up to your seat. And then I want you to move towards the front of your chair. So moving away from that backrest, you're gonna come on up 
And then go ahead and wiggle your feet out a little bit more than hips distance apart. On your inhale, bring your hands up overhead, upward salute. Exhale, left hand is gonna go to the right knee. We're gonna twist on open. Now, if you have an arm rest, you can grab the arm rest as leverage to twist that right shoulder back. Otherwise, you can grab the back of your chair as well. Maybe just keep that hand down at the bottom of the chair. Either arm placement is perfect. Just allow that right chest to keep twisting on open. If you'd like to go deeper into your twist, get a little bit more of a detox today, you can move on those exhales. Twisting a little deeper with every exhale, breathing only as much heat as you want here. As you inhale, come back to center, upward salute. Big reach, sit tall, correct that posture. Exhale, right hand goes to the left knee. Go ahead and choose where you want to place that left hand, arm rest back, bottom of the chair, and exhale, keep twisting open. That gaze can go behind you. Every exhale, maybe twist a little bit deeper if you want to add some heat. Heat can be really good for our bodies, especially in the winter season if your body's nice and cold. Helps with digestion. Inhale as you come back to center, upward salute. Exhale, we're gonna bend the right elbow and grab it with our left hand. Nice little shoulder stretch. So you can keep walking those right fingertips down your back and hugging that left elbow nice and close. Holding here, option to blink those eyes shut. Every exhale, maybe walking those right fingertips down the spine a little bit more. Inhale, both arms go up overhead. Exhale, bend that left elbow and grab it with your right hand. Walk those left fingertips down your spine with every exhale. Inhale, both arms go up high towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart prayer, heart center, Ajali Mudra. Now we're gonna move um, with a little bit of buoyancy here. So on your inhales, I want you to sit up nice and tall here. On your exhale, bring your right elbow behind you, twisting open. Inhale, upper body comes back straight. Exhale, twist that left side. So that upper body is the only thing that's moving. Your hips are still squared towards the front of your chair. Every inhale, you come back to center. Every exhale, you twist to that left or right side. I just want you to move with your breath at your own speed. Maybe try to elongate those inhales and exhales. Can you move nicely and slow and controlled? Feeling that twist side to side. This will aid in your mobility and your posture. So if you sit in a desk all day, this can be a really great pose to just practice in the middle of your day as well. Great job, guys. Probably beginning to feel that twist at your core a little bit more. Now that we've gone through a few rounds, it's perfect. As you come back to center, inhale, reach all the way up with your hands above your head. Exhale, we're gonna fold again. Hands can come to your heart and they can rest on your lap. Now here, you can keep your hands at your heart or you can go ahead and maybe stack those forearms. I want you to think about elongating your spine here. So on your inhale, pulling those shoulders back and thinking about drawing your chest over your knees. 
So I'm gonna just turn my chair so you can kind of see my spine. You don't have to turn your chair. But on your inhale, instead of sitting like this, inhale, draw those shoulders back, press the chest forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Inhale, shoulders come back, chest goes forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips. So you imagine having like your favorite drink on your back. You need to keep that nice tabletop long spine to stop it from spilling. So every inhale, you re-straighten that spine and draw those shoulders back. And exhale, you hinge at those hips. And then eventually you'll probably find a sweet spot where you don't want to hinge anymore. And once you're there, I just want you to breathe. Maybe stare at a spot on the floor or on in front of you. Just breathe where you're at. Remember those hands can be at prayer or those arms can be set. Either one's perfect. We're holding here. If that back begins to round, straighten it out. Draw that chest forward. You might feel this in your hips. You might feel it throughout the back. You might even feel it in your feet since you kind of have to press to those feet. Send those hips back and straighten that spine. Just take a moment to notice where you're feeling it, where the deep sensations come from. This will just help you create more awareness of your body. Alrighty, one more exhale. Go a hinge a little bit deeper if you got it. As you inhale, we're gonna do right to rise, so reach up overhead. Exhale, open those arms, wing arms go out. Now I'm gonna turn my chair to face you guys again so you can see my legs. Oh, my body's getting a little bit warmer. I hope yours is too, it feels so good. <laughs> so we're gonna straighten the legs out in front of us. You can bring your heels down to the floor and flex your toes towards you. Now, I know you can't see my feet, but they're just long and they're literally my toes are just pointed towards me in a flex position. As you inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold down to your toes. Now, this is your version of straight legs. So if you're feeling in those hamstrings, you can bend those knees a little bit. And I just want you to grab those toes. Take a moment to maybe round the spine and bring your head toward your knees. Or you can do that flat spine like we just did in our other fold. So it's up to you. You can stay nice and straight and upward or you can hinge on over, rounding that side. Choose your variation and hold in your forward fold. Deep breaths, every exhale, maybe sink a little bit heavier, a little bit deeper. Inhale, walk your hands back up and bring your legs in. We're going to bring that right foot over the left thigh, right above that knee. As you inhale, sit nice and tall, correct that posture, and then go ahead and press with that right hand to open up that hip. We're going to really focus on drawing that right hip down so we can get a nice big hip opener here. Breathe here, ground through that left bottom foot. Sit yourself a little bit taller. Deep breaths. Go ahead and bring that right foot back down to the floor. Bring that left foot over your right thigh, pressing with the left thigh downwards, sinking that left hip down into the chair. Feel that deep stretch. Our hips hold a lot of stress. We're letting them go here. That energy is not serving us, so we're going to get rid of it and fill that space up with gratitude and love for ourselves. A little bit lighter, a little bit more healing. As your posture began to slump, if so, maybe sit a little bit taller. And then go ahead and bring that left foot back down. Now we're gonna go ahead and stand up and move to the back of our chair. 
I'm going to turn my chair sideways so you can um, see what we're going to do, but you can stay, find your chair in whatever position. Okay, we're just going to begin with a classic quad stretch. So you can go ahead and grab that left foot with your left hand and point your knee straight down. And then begin to just prep, grab that left foot and bring it closer to your left glute. You're going to probably feel it in the inside of that hip and through that quad. Deep hip stretch here. If you wanted to turn this into a balance pose, you could drop that right hand away from that chair to test your balance in that right leg. Continue to breathe here. I don't want you to lose that breath. If you have lost it, come back to it. Steady inhales and, ex inhales and exhales are flowing through you as you hold the pose. Exhale, bring that left foot back down, other side. Inhale, the right foot up, grab it with your right hand. Let that right knee point straight down towards the floor. Inhale, maybe draw that right heel in a little bit closer. Exhale, maybe let go of that chair. And steady breaths wherever you're at, whether you're holding onto that chair or testing your balance in that left leg. Take one more breath in and exhale. You can let go of that right foot now. Now I want you to use the back of your chair as leverage here as we sink into a figure four pose. So much like we did in our seated position, I want you to bring that right heel over that left thigh, right above your knee. Now holding onto your chair as leverage, exhale, sink your weight into the left heel as you bend down. So that right leg, Looks like a figure four here with your legs, hence figure four pose. And you're just sinking into that left heel, sinking into those hips. If you'd like to remove your hands from the chair to test your balance in that left leg, you can go ahead and bring your hands to your heart. Every exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper into that heel. This is a challenging balance pose here. There's a lot of fire happening through those legs. With those shakes come in, can you stay with that smooth and steady breath? Breath. All deep breaths. Every exhale, I get in a little bit deeper. You can always use that chair, remember. It's there for you, it's your support. Okay, one more round of breath on your last exhale. Go a little bit deeper. I know you got it. Inhale, bring that right foot back up and wiggle out the legs for a moment as we go into the other side. So plant your weight into that right foot and go ahead and bring your left foot across your right thigh. That left foot is flexed, that hip is open, and we'll sink into our this side. Take a breath in, just sit nice and tall. Exhale, sink your weight into that right heel. Maybe wiggle those right toes for a little bit to make sure that weight's going all the way back into that right heel. And hold your figure four pose. Use that chair or bring your hands to your heart to test your balance. Wherever you're at, just be all here. You have to come out of the pose at any time. Just make your way slowly back into it. Stay with your breath. One more round of breath. Take one more exhale to go a little bit deeper. Inhale as you bring yourself back up. Exhale, let go. And take a nice little quick go with those legs. And you can make your way back to your seat. We fired up those legs enough. We can go ahead and sit and relax back into our chair. So we'll just go ahead and begin going back into a neutral seated position, much like the beginning of class. So your feet can rest onto the floor. Your seat can sink heavy into the bottom of the chair. And you can allow your back to rest in the backrest. 
Once again, you can go ahead and blink your eyes shut here. Hands can stay soft on your thighs or towards your knees. Or you can bring your right hand to your heart and your left hand to your belly. Taking a moment here to just take a few nice deep breaths. Noticing how our breath has either changed or stayed the same since the beginning of practice. Noticing any areas of your body that feel maybe a little lighter or heavier than at the beginning of your practicing. Just notice, just notice. And then we'll begin today's meditation. You can just allow yourself to relax in your chair. Those hands can maybe rest down onto the armrest or on your legs or by your side. Your legs can be straightened. You can kind of um, not necessarily slump, but maybe just sit a little bit more relaxed in your chair, not so upright. And just begin to take almost your final Shavasana in your chair pose here. And you can just stay with your steady breaths as you are in your Shavasana. Today's meditation will be the Metta Bhavana prayer. And you can just allow yourself to listen to the sounds of the words I will speak. And allow them to flow in naturally. And whatever thoughts you have around those words, allow those to flow naturally and with ease as well. Just allow yourself to stay in a peaceful state as you listen to the meditation and the prayer. And we'll begin. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live in peace. May I be free of all mental anxieties. May my life be blessed with ease. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live in peace. May you be free of all mental anxieties. May your life be blessed with ease. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we live in peace. May we be free of all mental anxieties. May our life be blessed with ease. May our life be blessed with ease. May our life be blessed with ease. And begin to wake your body up out of your meditation. Maybe just moving those fingertips and toes slightly. With 
your eyes remaining shut, we'll go ahead and bring our hands to prayer, heart center. Or we'll go ahead and close out practice together. So in this space and after this time, maybe take a moment to think of the things that you're grateful for. Maybe take a moment to jot them down on a notepad or in a journal and just see what has come to the surface as you moved your energy, released stress, and have cultivated the feeling of being present. We supercharge the gratitude in our body and in our minds. So just notice what comes forward for you. Think a grateful thought right here. Hold it at your heart space. Let it fill you. Let all that light come in. Let yourself be filled with this divinity, this divine light. Feel it charging your body. Continue holding on to that light, you guys. You deserve it. You've earned it. You showed up for yourself to feel this way, to feel grateful, to feel good. The love and light in me honors the love and light in each one of you. Going forward, we say namaste. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming to practice a 30 minute chair yoga flow with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask um, Emily or I. We would be happy to answer any questions. Otherwise, like I said, maybe take a moment before you return to your work to jot down some things that you're grateful for. Um, I have a gratitude journal and it has become a wonderful tool, especially to reflect on during the holiday season when. Um, Things can get kind of stressful and kind of long. It just is really nice to reflect on those grateful thoughts. So as always, it's such an honor to be able to practice with you guys. Have a great rest of your day.